You may be familiar with Henry Ford's famous quote, if I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. This is often used during conversations around innovation. During our Q&A session at the August virtual conference, Nacho from Uruguay asked Jacob Nielsen if there's a middle ground between experience and innovation. Here's what Jacob had to say. Well, I think that, um, think about Henry Ford, right? Think about Henry Ford. He didn't really invent uh, the car, right? He just, just invented the assembly line or a way to make cars cheaper so that people could actually afford one. And this doesn't mean that there's any less value in business innovation than in technology innovation. I would say almost on the contrary, because if you invent a product, but it can't be made such that people can afford it, it of course does no good. So that was definitely was an innovation, but at the same time, we also shouldn't kind of exaggerate how big the innovation was. And in fact, uh, if you think about it in the bigger scheme of things, uh, most advances come not from big innovations, but rather from incremental innovation or from taking something already invented and making it a little better, not even much better, but just a little better. And then another company will make it even better again. And it keeps going like that in the case of the automobile now for you know, more than a hundred years. And by now, the cars we have are incredibly much better uh, than the ones that uh, Henry Ford made. Uh, partly due to things like even like Toyota's uh, quality improvement program, the continuous quality improvement. And that entire idea of continuous improvement, I do think is, is super, really important. And uh, that's really what the majority of the total value comes from is a large number of, of smaller innovations. And those are the ones that are very suitable to being discovered by some of our sort of standard research methodologies where we show people a design. No, sorry, we don't, don't show them. We give them a design, they have to use it, right? That's the huge difference. So in terms of like customer feedback or what people say, they're right, they would say, I want a faster horse, uh, and you don't listen to that. You have to observe people and you have to notice what uh, stumbling blocks they have or where, where things get in their way or where, and then sometimes you just have to have like, whoa, insight and something you didn't even get from observation. But truthfully, in terms of like the overall uh, advances in user experience, most of them come from just kind of making so many of those annoyances go, individual annoyances go away, or individual smaller improvements that we just kind of stack on top of each other, right? And that's how, you know, over the time of like human history, we have honestly evolved a lot in terms of our ability to do things. And most of those comes from smaller innovations. So I do think that there's that middle ground where uh, you observe customers rather than listening to what they say they want. That, that can kind of be discarded, but you observe customers uh, and you make mostly uh, smaller improvements. And then every now and then, boom, we take, make a big step as well. And the combination of all of those gives us a humongous advance accumulated over time.